at this point, I'm a little bit more concerned with the end result of the games. Um, you know, just because we 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 we're, we're dealing with with a lot right now in uh, in this country, and uh, you know, one of the big issues that we're having is the haters. And uh, Kyrie made some comments, and then he kind of backtracked and 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 um, tried to act like he wasn't speaking about LeBron, but uh, but the statement that he made. It doesn't matter whether or not you actually say LeBron's name, you know what I mean? Because he's automatically included because he's a teammate. He's basically, you know, he was just saying that, you know, now that he has Kevin Durant as, as a teammate, he has uh, somebody that can make that shot, the shot or whatever, you know, um, which is a slight to one of the greatest players to ever do it, LeBron James, because, of course, we know they were teammates for four years in Cleveland won a championship together. Um, so I just, you know, I just, I just, you know, this, this is why we have issues with Kyrie every so often because he does things like this every so often. That's just like, come on, man. You better than this, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, listen, I, I've, I've been highly critical of Kyrie since he left Cleveland because, and to a certain extent, his teammate as well, KD, they both for the type that'll pop ish and then apologize immediately. Oh, mm-hmm. no, no, you misunderstood what I was saying. No, no, that wasn't my intent. Listen, when you say, when you make a statement that says this is the first time that I've had a teammate that I feel can take the big, big shot and make the big shot the same way I can, you are taking a shot at LeBron James because let's not forget uh, LeBron to this day is the best teammate you've ever played with, right? And that's no slight against Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant is not better than LeBron James, not yet anyway. And if he may end up being better than him historically, but not yet. Um, before LeBron James joined you in Cleveland, you had never even made the playoffs. So any opportunity for you to take a big shot was courtesy of LeBron James saying, I want to play with you. Yeah, because big, big shots only got in the playoffs. Way, That's when you get big shots right. in the playoffs. I mean, right. No, nobody, nobody is concerned with any big shots you hit on a team that won 22 games, all right? When, when your team was going 22 and 60, no, nobody was counting those as big shots. Yeah. So the opportunities were presented to you by LeBron. Um, you didn't hit any big shots the one year in Boston that you were there, right? You were injured one year and then you stunk it up the second year you were there. So any big shot you're, you're really talking about and you haven't taken any sh- big shots with the Nets yet. So any big shot you're talking about is talking about Cleveland. So you are talking about LeBron James. You, you, you try to throw a subtle jab and then clean it up later on. Like, come on, y'all. Why y'all always got to make it about? No, you made it about that. And I, and I took issue with a couple of things Kyrie said because then Kyrie also went on to say, well, we don't view this as us having a head coach. This is this is a coach by a committee. Like, what kind of slight are you throwing at Steve Nash, who was the newly hired head coach, but again, speaks to who Kyrie as a man. Kyrie wants to do things the way he wants to do them and only in accordance with what makes him feel com- feels comfortable. Yeah. This is going to go so bad in Brooklyn. I'm not going to lie. I, Brooklyn Nets fans, y'all think I'm hating on y'all. I'm not hating on y'all. I've been saying from day one, this is not a good pairing with him and KD because they are two of the most emotional stars that the league has ever seen. And they love, they love to blame someone else for when things don't go right. It's always somebody else's problem why things didn't work out the way that they wanted them to work out. So the fact that you're already throwing a new head coach under the bus when you haven't even had a practice with him yet, now all of a sudden is, well, we, we're kind of all coaching. I can coach sometimes. KD can coach sometimes. Well, if, if y'all can coach sometimes, why it took y'all to be with superstars to win championships? Y'all would have won championships already if you were so great at coaching and analyzing the game. First, first, first of all, like you know, you it's, it's it's very disrespectful to Steve Nash that for you to even make a comment like that. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. It's very disrespectful to Steve Nash for you to even make a comment like that. You're you're basically undermining his authority before, like you said, before you even have your first practice, you're already undermining Steve Nash's authority. No, you're not the coach. You're the point guard on the team, player position. Kevin Durant is not the coach. He's a small forward on the team. Your job is to play basketball, dominate the way you guys have both done. I'm not taking anything because you, because as I think both of those guys are superstars, um, but I think both of them wind up in the hall of fame at, 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 at some point in their careers. You're not the coach. That's why Steve Nash is here. Steve Nash is the coach. And it's very disrespectful for you to make a, make a comment, a, a statement like that, uh, you know, because so basically what you're saying is me and KD run the team. 
and it's whatever we say goes. Who whoever gets on the court is is our decision. Whoever doesn't get on the court is our decision. Who gets to shoot while he's on the court, then that's our decision. Um, Nash, you just here because we actually have to have a body and um to say we you know we have a coach. And that's pretty that's pretty much what it is. But it's very disrespectful to, to, to Steve Nash. Um would you would you have said that if Doc Rivers came in and was the coach? Uh Greg Popovich came in and was the coach. No, because you can't disrespect those guys because those guys got resumes that look way better than yours. <laughs> you know what I mean? What they what they've done as 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 coaches. You can't. Steve Nash, you know, being a rookie, rookie coach coming in, and you know, we kind of all, you know, even and even he, he said he kind of skipped the line. Okay, that's fine, but don't undermine that guy before he even has a chance to 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 to, to have a meeting <laughs> with the, with the entire team. Like you, Kyrie got to chill. Um, and, and I'm the Nets fan on the show, and it's like, yo, bro, you doing way too much right now. Like you got to get it together. Before, yeah, like y'all got a great chance here. Like we're not even gonna, like you have two of the top players, two top players in basketball on the same team. The Nets have depth. They got you know DeAndre Jordan who can who can rebound the ball really well, play defense. Same thing with Jared Allen. You got Karis LeVert who's an amazing talent. Dim Witty, Joe Harris. Even though I think a couple of those guys are gonna wind up getting moved this season. But you guys have a chance, especially being in the Eastern Conference. We see how the Eastern Conference played out this year. So you guys, if you can remain healthy, have just as good a chance as anybody in the Eastern Conference to make it to the finals. And I do think that if, if that if that Nets team made it to the finals against the Lakers teams, we, we'd be talking in a whole different way. I think this series goes seven games. I think it's very a lot more competitive. So you guys have a chance to do something really special, bring, bring a, a championship – to to New York for the first time since the 70s because they do with, with if everybody's healthy but this ain't the way to start this thing out I'm sorry this ain't this ain't the way sometimes you got to sit back and just shut up and enjoy the ride listen on paper they are one of the most talented teams in all of the NBA that there is no de- debating that but when you roll the balls out and you got to play I'm not trusting any team that Kyrie's on because aside from his three years with LeBron James, he has shown us nothing in regards to being the best player or second best player on a playoff caliber team. The Boston Celtics looked better the year he was injured when he was when he was out and they went to the Eastern Conference Finals. And guess what? This is their first year without him. They go to the Eastern Conference Finals. With him, they got demolished in the second round last year against the Milwaukee Bucks. Yeah. For, for a guy who preaches so much about leadership and setting the tone, he does the complete opposite with, with actions like this, with undermining the coach, with throwing subtle shots at ex-teammates. I, I'm not believing anything about this Nets team until I actually see it. I'm, I'm be honest. And some of that may just be the Nick fan in me, but a big part of that is me just seeing enough basketball to realize that when you have a guy like Kyrie Irving, who has it makes a bigger impact with the things he says off the court than what he does on the court. I'm just not buying it. And I know there's a big corner of people who love Kyrie, and he is super talented. Don't get me wrong, super talented. He is one of the best ball handlers in, in basketball, if not the best ball handler. He is an amazing three-point shooter. But if you take away the three years that he played with LeBron James, what has he done in this league? Nothing. I, I would challenge anyone to tell me or show me what has he done in this league if you take away those three years that he played with LeBron. The four years prior to LeBron never made the playoffs. The three years he's left LeBron, got injured, got his team eliminated in the second round, and and played poorly in doing it after calling out all the younger players on the team, and then mm-hmm. played twenty plus games this year. So in a matter of four years, I mean seven years that he has not played with LeBron James, he's been in the playoffs one time. Him personally, his teams have been there. He's played in the playoffs one time. Yeah. I'm not believing it until you show me something on the court. Right now he's living off the fact that we refer or it's largely referred to the fact that he hit that that three to win the win the series as the one of the or if not the greatest shots in NBA finals history. So he's really living off of that rep, which absolutely right. Outside of the LeBron years, what have you really done? Because you've been injury prone since college. Let's be clear. I think you really played two games at Duke before he was done for he the played, season. He played, I think he played nine games actually at Duke. Oh, okay. Got, got, oh, excuse me. He got nine in there. He got nine, nine, nine in there. About, about nine. 
Yeah, you got nine in that Duke. Then you go to Cleveland. You don't make the playoffs. Was it the first, what, four four years of your career? Before yeah, Bron- my math is off. I'm sorry. Yeah, he, he was there three years before Bron came. Back. Yeah. So before Bron gets there, you, you know, you do nothing in Cleveland because you can't lead that team to the playoffs. You know, obviously LeBron would have led that team to the playoffs, but you're not LeBron James, you know, um, which which is crazy because that's when when you say, oh, I finally got a teammate that can hit that shot. Like, bro, what do you what what shots have you hit to even make that statement? Now, had you said Kevin Durant is the greatest shooter that I've ever had as a teammate, I don't got nothing to say to that because he because he is because he's a he's a way better shooter than LeBron. But we're not gonna say sit up here and act like LeBron don't make big shots. Like LeBron does not. He, I think right now LeBron has the 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 the, the, the record for game winners in, in in the playoffs, something like that. So we talking about somebody that's known for making big shots all of the time. Like you you sound crazy, you know. And you're again your big shot only came because LeBron James put you in position to make that shot. And because he's not a selfish player, because he could have got that block off Iguodala, came down and jacked up a three his damn self and say, you know what, fit Kyrie. But because he's he's a pass first player, he kicked it out to you so you could flourish in that moment. So you you really need to show LeBron a lot more respect in what you're doing. And maybe in your mind, you feel like it's not a shot at LeBron. But, bruh, if you say every teammate that you had, LeBron is included in those teammates when you make a statement like that. So I don't know what's going on in your mind. This is probably the same part of his brain that thinks the world is, is flat or, or, or whatever, you know, but you got to put some more respect on that man's name. You have a ring because of LeBron James. Let's be, let's be clear. Cause if LeBron didn't come back to Cleveland, if he said, you know what, I'm going I'm to stick around in Miami a couple more. I think we can get, we can get one or two more in Miami and he don't go back to Cleveland. You would not, be making the playoffs still. I mean, I mean, not all your playoff experience is pretty much because of LeBron. Like, yeah. again, this is why I say you you got to show me something different. You got to show me, you know, that you are worthy of this praise of being one of the top fifteen, top twenty guys in the league. Because Boston went to an Eastern Conference Finals without you playing one single game in the playoffs. You come back, y'all get beat in the second round. You leave, they go to another Eastern Conference Finals. So, yeah. and and you're a guy who has more experience than Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, right? Marcus Smart. You were supposed to have more experience than them guys, and yet those guys seem to be better when you were away from them. So, yeah. I mean, Karis LeVert, to me, looked better when Kyrie wasn't playing this year. Yeah. So and we saw what he did in the bubble. Right. So, you listen, the time for talking is over when it comes to Kyrie. And this is for all the Kyrie supporters. The time for talking is over. I don't want to hear no talk. Don't reference that shot that took place. What was that, five years ago now? Don't yeah. reference that shot anymore. That's it. You ain't give me something. Sense. Right. Give me something relevant. Give me something current. If we're going to keep talking about that shot, I mean, listen, then if that's what we're going to base it on, all right, then you keep talking about that shot. So be it. For, for, for you guys that want to continue to support him, but he got to show me something more now. Because I'm going to start calling him Pokai. Over. I'm going to start calling like, him like Pokai. Four right, touchdowns in right. a single you, game. That's, that's all right. you good for. Because at this point, it's like, you, you again, you a, you a pop-ish, then apologize later on. You throw subtle jabs. You, mm-hmm. you say all these wild things. And then it's like, all right, but when is your play going to match up to all these things you're saying? At what point? At, at some point, I'm be, and I'm going to do, I'm gonna do a, a better comparison. At some point, bro, you Adrian Broner. At some point, you a guy who looked really good at one point in your career, and then we realized, oh, yeah. you're not as good as we probably thought. Yeah. So, to me, this year's the show and prove, and I'm on record as saying I think this is the only season him and KD will even play together. This year, to me, is show and prove. If you can't get it done now with all the things that you've said over the last couple of years, I, I'm sorry. I think it's time for us to wipe our hands from you and say, all right, you, you was a good player. You were solid. You had that moment. It is the biggest shot in NBA Finals history because it was a game seven, and it, it was to... to cap off the comeback of 3-1, but that's where it stops, bro. We're not going to keep having this talk about you when there's other young point guards who are just as skilled and, and as athletic as you who are staying on the court nowadays. So yeah, that's what I stand on that. And, and again, I'm going to continue to be tough on Kyrie, um, but, you know, but, 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 you know, I'll be clear. Like, I want him to do well because I want the Nets to win a championship, but you got to, you got to get together. You got to do, do less of this, 
and, 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 and show us show us some more action. You know, you're in a perfect position to do that. So we are gonna wait and see. Um, Smush Parker here, formerly up to Los Angeles Lakers. And you are now tuned in to Real Fans Real Talk. Real talk, we as real as you 